Welcome to this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review! She's no. going to the rave, darling. She's a raver. And I'm a raven. Uh, yes, raver and raven. Yes. Review. We're going to be tuning and booting the looks from episode four of season seven of Here we are. Let's talk about this week's uh, outfits. And the theme is all green. If I was an all green, what would you Jolly do? green giant. Michelle Which, Visage was so happy about this. Yes, she's a woman who hates green, and green, coincidentally, is the color of boogers. So let's see what kind of booger fashions they have. No, I'm kidding. This is gonna be really exciting. I think it's gonna be cool. Look number one, ladies and gentlemen. We've got this lady. I love this green. It's very deep. It's like a deep, rich emerald. Mm -hmm. I don't like the huge black pump sticking out the bottom. I don't I don't mind that. The, the hair is a little funny for me. It's the a little- The hairs. The square hair and it looks then the, like a box. The scraggly okay. ends. Yeah, it's just I I can see that it was trying to be brushed back and like that whole thing, but it just needed to be squeezed like in on the sides whole, a little yeah. bit. It looks like like she's been holding a, a charcuterie platter on her head. Um, it's okay. It's not I I don't not really that like dazzled by it, other than the fact that it's shiny, it's not really that interesting. It's the length is nice. i I'll give it a two. It's a um, two. It's not terrible. It's safe. So it's but that hair, bitch. The hair is funny. I love this. I think it's beautiful. I think I like the weird interpretation of the green rather than just going full solid green. Yeah. It, it, it's like an aurora borealis with a green overlay on it. Or like a very beautiful clam shell. Yes, a like shell. Like abalone. Yeah. yeah it's, like, it's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. The hair's great. My only trouble is with the, the center panel where the where the nude illusion is at, where it cuts off the tattoo. Uh, I think it should be either covered all the way up with a piece of jewelry that resonates the same belt. It, that, or that, cover the tattoo. Yeah, or cover the tattoo. And that's the only problem I have. But otherwise, this is a complete this suit. Is it's a beautiful. The, the, the draping around the bottom is beautiful. The little capelet, it's perfect. It's really and I love that beautiful. the shoe mm -hmm. is not green. It's more of that, that ox blood color. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. beautiful. I love it. It's Toot. perfect. Toot. Definitely. I <sighs> hope, I hope, I hope they send this bitch home because she clearly did not listen to direction. That is yellow, honey. Well, it's that's no, 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 no. Dream lime. She has green stones on a yellow dress. Okay. And she looks like a can of Sprite, and it's which is green, girl. It's limon. This ain't cute. The problem isn't the color of green because there's different colors in the crayon box. There could be a very, very light yellow base green. Okay. Which yellow I green. see. I get it. But it's just kind of like ill-fitting for me. There's something about the the way it bunches around the waist is a little funny. I think it looks like it's borrowed rather than her own, or that attention to detail was not even made. I want more green. That's a boot. Two. I'll take. I love this outfit. The Absolutely. Only, the only trouble I'm having with is the bare leg because even an actual showgirl would never wear a bare leg. No. I, it has to be like, like a, a nude, a nude fishnet. fishnet with like a layer beneath it. Every showgirl knows that and I can kind of see where her nuts are on the side. Like that really bothers me. The outfit is cool. I like the hair, but I just, that, that really is kind of a problem for me. I just, I don't know. I don't really care for the top piece. It looks almost like an afterthought. It looks like no. it looks like she's gonna pull that out and sign the Declaration of Independence and stick it back in her head. There's just little things that I wish were just a little different. A little, just a little, un poquito. The things that I do like about it outweighs it, so I'm gonna give this a two. More like a tweak, she looks like a little bird. From the looks of it, I think the hair is probably on fleek. It's on fleek. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take this. Um, ooh. no. That's no. a very, very loose interpretation of green. I like the shape because I've done this shape before. I recognize this Marie Antoinette shape. The panniers on the side is very interesting. I like that it's sort of underwear, but I just wish it would have been more green. I think it should have been more of like a pistachio or like that kind of like hospital tile green. That would have made it more interesting, but there's just not enough. That's a boot. I'm gonna kind of boot this because there's just not enough green. No. All right, mm -hmm. it's green. It's green, there's a lot of but green. But it's fucking ugly. It looks like a pageant gown and she like a queen who like just shoplifted at a Michaels store in her pageant gown. It's so much, it's just so much. Those feathers, fuck that shit up. Uh, boot. 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 
Uh, this is interesting. I get this like kind of Asian feel. It's giving me very like chiang sam. That's what they're called. There's something kind of like expensive upholstery about it. I actually really, really enjoy this. I think the hair looks great. I love the fascinator. I love mm -hmm. fascinators. I just wish there was a little tailoring done, just a, a smidge. Mm -hmm. But I love that the shoe is gold and she's got the gold in the dress. Mm -hmm. But is it green enough? It kind of looks a little bit bluey to me. It looks minty. It's more green than some of the other queens had on. That's a two. Okay, let me think about this. It is pretty, and it's Asian-y, which I'm Asian, so I guess I should like it because of that. But all right, I'll toot it, it's fine. It's cool. Well, what's more green than money? This is fun. This is fun. I love it. It's got a literal kind of thing to it. It's like American dollars, green. So yeah, yeah I, I tip this. And she's got a bunch of dollars around her shoulder. You know, it's fun. It's very it looks, drag. It's very it drag brunch. Expensive. Yes, for drag brunch. Yeah. And I like, I'm gonna toot it. The hair looks great. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a toot. Yeah. A safe toot, a toot. Very much. This is a really cool outfit. The cobra look is very, very interesting, but I am a little thrown off by the body in this. Has anyone ever heard me say that? What does it look like? It just looks like, like dude in drag. Your body? Maybe, but you know what, <laughs> at least, I don't know. The way the sparkles and everything work, there's something kind of like really not exciting for me for this. I wish she had a thigh high or make this a dress. A gown. Or a, a gown. Sleek a gown. sleek gown with a long, long, long train. train that yeah. goes all the way back. Cause all I'm getting is like chopped salamander. Like the tail's waiting to grow back. So that's the reptile ending. It, it, the there's something out. missing on the bottom. So I'm gonna wish for her to have a boot. Therefore I'm gonna boot this. Boot. This bitch loves her jewelry. Busy lady jewelry. And here's the thing for me, especially when you're a big queen. Mm -hmm. Lay off the chokers. When you wear a choker up under your necks yeah. and your chins, it just, it makes you look so much heavier and she's always got some sort of choker on. I wish that that choker was gone because I would have actually really liked this look. You know, she said, okay, green camouflage, why not? Can't see me, ooh. I mean, you can't. <laughs> I don't see her. I see her. I can, I can, I don't know how I feel about a big girl wearing camouflage. She looks like a painted tank to me with a bunch of glitter thrown on it. I get it, it's camouflage and it's green, but it just makes her look like a- A tank. She looks like a tank. She looks like an army tank. Uh, I love the hair. The hair is actually cool. I love I that. I do like the deep, hair. Deep I like the bra. Uh-huh. I like this. It just doesn't go, so the, the pieces don't all go with this look, no. you know? She needs to lose that choker. Stop yeah. wearing chokers. It's so. not my favorite, so I'm gonna go ahead and boot this boot. one too. Very, very housewife. Very yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's meant to be that though. I think one, one. If it's not, one, then she <laughs> fucked up. One or the other needs to go. There's like a really strange satin apron over this like party dress. Maybe she's like a fancy waitress, or I just don't get it. I like the, I like the green. The green is really fun. There's that whole like kind of vintagey kind of green, and I see where she's going with it. But I'm not really sure how I feel about the outfit. A peplum that goes over a full skirt should be a little bit shorter, maybe fuller. Yeah. But it just, it's the weirdest length. Like it needs to be chopped at least two thirds up so that it feels like a separate top. But I'm just not into it. I think it looks really weird. I don't understand the cuffs. Yeah. I don't understand the cuffs with, I mean, it's cute touches, it's green. Like one or the other, get rid of the peplum, like make it make the skirt its own feature. It's just weird. It's like, I don't know, I'm not into it. Boo. Boo. Our top two of the week is... Pearly green. Abalone. Bologna. Seashell. Barnacle. No, wrong green. Uh, Aurora Borealis green. Poo poo green. Boogers. Trend alert! Feathers. Plumage. Plumes. <laughs> Keep trying to think of another word. Okay. Feathers, bitch! The trend <laughs> alert is feathers! <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents! Did you hear the news? RuPaul's DragCon is the first ever drag convention in history. Go to RuPaul'sDragCon.com for tickets and all the tea you need to know.